Okay, everybody, I'm going to try to take hopefully less than three minutes just to whack through Loki. So you've already signed in. You've signed in with a username and a password. Remember to write that down somewhere. Better yet, put it on a Google Doc or email it to yourself. So um, usually you're going to start with create, and you're going to create a new Voki. And um, I'm going to wait for this guy to come up. <clears throat> of course, it would be slow on the day that I'm making the video, but it's all good. OK, so, so there's some basic things. Is Really, again, you always want to let your cursor be your friend. And I just sort of work through this thing kind of hierarchical. So the first thing you want to do is you want to kind of pick your character. But one of the things about Voki is it sort of has these organized and bigger files. So kind of the first thing you want to do is sort of find your your big file that you want to work from. Um, so, you know, all of these are just big files, and then you can toggle here to choose within that big, larger kind of bucket. So, um, I always go with classic. You can see this is sort of the base person that I become. So, once I pick my person, I tell them I'm female. So, again, you're going to use these to toggle through. Then I'm going to um, uh, switch over to hair. You can change out your hair if you wish, but the short hair actually works for me. Um, you can pick your mouth. If for some reason the mouth that you have doesn't work for you, you can actually pick a big mouth. But then I switch over to clothing, and again, it's the same kind of idea. There's those sort of big buckets of, of, of choices, and then you can scroll within those big buckets. So I'm going to let you explore those on yourself. I want to put a shirt on myself. And then, of course, um, I put glasses on me since I am a glassware, um, and I generally just come down and pick something kind of fun, put those on me, I'm looking really rocking there. And so, like, as you can see, so I'm done with that particular section. And then, um, and the next, I, I, this is where you kind of edit and record, so we'll do that first. So the first thing you want to do is I want to change that background. Um, and again, you have these big buckets that you can choose from. There's some really kind of cool animated ones. If you're, let me go ahead and just continue my whole kind of disco-y theme I have going on here. Um, so that's, so again, pick your bucket, then scroll through your choice. The bad thing about Vokey is you could spend forever, literally, setting up your Vokey. It's so much fun. But just for your basics. And then, of course, you want to change the background, the player. That's really just changing the background of your, of your um, and actually I'm going to go with hot pink to kind of match the whole thing I've got going on. Then, so those are kind of the big, large pieces for making your avatar. So when you want to actually get down to the nitty gritty, if I, I don't really like that color of my lips, so I'm going to tweak the color of my lips. As you can see, I'm just sort of jumping around this color thing. Now, if I want to tweak the actual size of my mouth, I can do it big, you know, small. And you can do the same thing for my nose my height, and so on. So really, I just invite you, you just have to kind of toggle around and play. I mean, there's really there's really nothing else to be done here. Um, bigger thing I have to tweak is like my hair color. Yeah, that's the one out of the box, and here's the real, no, okay. Okay, let's see, maybe that was the color I was born with. No, not so much. Okay, we'll go with that. Anyway, my, my point here is, is that I can't possibly walk you through all your choices. The next thing you need to really pay attention to is there are really two main ways at your computer that you can actually leave a message so that your Voki will actually talk. The first thing is, is you can actually pick a dialect, and yes, it will do a rough translation into that dialect. So if you pick Chinese, you would want to pick it um, uh, the different dialects or more importantly, if you pick like Danish, it wants you to pick a guy or a girl. So you can talk again, you can toggle through those if you wish, and then you just type your message in here. Um, roughly, roughly 800, well, no, about roughly about 300 words is about a minute, roughly. So you got to keep that down, but it will actually translate that. So be careful when you're doing that. So I'm going to go back to English, not that it matters. And again, you can pick your. Thing, and then you, so you can just simply type your message. Now, for most of you, though, you have a built-in microphone. So you're just going to simply record. Hi, testing. One, two, three, testing. You want to stop. Hi, play it. Testing. One. I'm going to stop it so we don't have to hear that. You're going to save this file. And all it's just asking you for is just for a file. You could probably call this your TPAC reflection or something to that effect, obviously, because that's what you guys are all doing. And my video is going really long, but I'm going to try to hurry up. Again, 
So you basically you want to save it and then you want to say that you're done. And when you've done all this, you've tweaked, you've played, you've done everything you want to do to your Vokey, you are now ready to publish. Doesn't mean you can't tweak it, it just means you're going to publish it for now. But Vokies are always editable. Now what it wants is a name for your Vokey. So you might want to put your name and then like TPAC or something like that. You know, you can call it whatever you want. But this is actually the name of your Vokey, not the name of your audio file. So that's a little bit of a difference. It does this a couple of times. It'll, it'll do it again and again and again. And it says your scene has been saved. The thing that you guys are going to want to get is the standard Vokey link. There's another video on the link to the pages where I actually have you record them, where I actually walk you through why you would want to go ahead and control save, or, or uh, open Apple C, or right click and, and copy this URL, or the web address, to your public Vokey. That was Vokey in six minutes, and that was really long, but I hope that was helpful. All right, have fun. Remember, can't break a Web 2.0 tool.